Tony Green, and we are going to be starting the show very quickly. So I already started a couple clearings or healings for those who are on um, who are on YouTube chatting with me. So if you want to join, if you ever want to join the show, definitely go to YouTube Live and watch, even if you're calling in as a caller, because on YouTube Live, prior to the show, we start like just saying hi to each other. And I ask if anybody wants any clearings or anything. And um, so one of the clearings we're already doing is for spring rejuvenation. Another clearing is for restful sleep. So anybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching will get those healings to be able to sleep through the night peacefully. You may be, you may need to um, listen um, like once a week until you get into that habit again for the sleep, peaceful sleep, <laughs> sleepful peace. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then I also have um, the rejuvenation, being rejuvenated. Just let's do just reju we are rejuvenated. Ooh, clear that. And that comes from the solar plexus. So one of the things one of my friends um, from uh, Florida said to me, and I'm going to do a clearing on this right away because it it is it's a it's it's a truth um, that over the past couple of years. We've all been on a heightened um, heightened state of alert, right? Because of everything going on. So um, I always explain it as when you're going through something, anything, um, you don't really realize uh, how bad it is. Um, and then once you come out the other side, all of the stress and anxiety and everything hits you then. So I often, sometimes I'll compare it to a woman or a person in an abusive relationship um, or an abusive work situationship where when you're going through it, you're just surviving it. You're not looking at the day-to-days. You're just getting through it. And then once you're out of it, it all hits you. And I think after the past couple of years and what we've been through, we've all been just waiting for the next thing to happen. We've been waiting for, okay, is there going to be another this? Are we going to have to go back into seclusion? Are we going to have to you do this, that, or the other thing? Are they going to, um, are we going to not be able to work again? And we're finally feeling like it's safe again and we're starting to relax again but our all that stress and anxiety and let's just call it fear from the past couple of years is now catching or exhibiting so what I really want to do is clear um any um any I, I'm gonna do it again I've done it on a show once before but I'm gonna do it again any stress anxiety anything from that's been uh, let's just say stress and anxiety all stress and anxiety has cleared I, I get a no we're gonna clear that that's a biggie folks that's a biggie okay I want to say hi to Patrick Genevieve Sal um, Mimi Heather and Fawn, who are all chatting with me on YouTube. If you are on YouTube Live, say hello. I'll be. I'll. I'll say hi back. Um, once I start taking callers, I don't. Oh, I can't always go back and read the questions. But prior to the show, I'm definitely on those comments and talking with people. So you can join us before the show on YouTube Live. You can also call in um, and ask a question, 845-277-9131. I'll answer any question you might have or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. If you're watching on Rude Rangers TV or um, WSCS or any of the streaming channels or listening on any podcast every Monday and Wednesday, I go live for a minimum of 30 minutes and you 
can join the show, ask your questions or connect with loved ones. And I, I'm always happy to do that. The only thing I ask is when I call your area code, you let me know where you're calling from and your first name. And then um, the first name, where you're calling from, have an exact question ready. Um, if you want a, a more vague question or you want to know everyone around you or what spirit has to say, to you, let's book a private session. And yes, I do private sessions. The only way to reach me is on my website, www.tonig.info, tonyg.info. I will never reach out to anybody. Please don't get scammed especially on Instagram. Those Insta scammers are horrible. I'm just saying, boy, um, I never reach out to anybody. I barely, I'm really embarrassed to admit. Sometimes I forget even to get back to people who reach out to me because I'm so busy. Like people tell me I don't have time to do something. I'm like, I own a business and my business is like 10 different jobs because I write books and not, not, I'm not bragging folks. I'm not like, you just have to prioritize your time. Stop Netflix, flexing, Netflixing, Netflixing, Netflix, Netflixing and chilling. <laughs> Why could I not think of what that is called? Probably because I don't have it and I don't watch it. Um, uh, uh, prioritize your time. If you watch TV for an hour, don't. Do something else. Create your own thing. Anyway, enough about that. I can't remember where I was when I started that whole thing. Anyway, have an exact question. Oh, and if you have something a little bit more that you would want to ask, please uh, we can definitely cover that in a private session. Okie dokie. And you know what? Every single person who is a friend of mine or that we hang out and we talk or, you know, I mostly have guy friends um, and some female friends, but we all own our own businesses. We all are in control of our income. We, every single one of us, um, does like 20 different things for our business. And we never complain because when it's for your own business, you never, ever complain. Now, I consider people who are independent contractors or doing their own thing, but they're doing it under an umbrella company. They're still owning their own business. You still do everything. You're, you're riding that wave of being in control of your money, where you're going and what you're doing. And I absolutely do believe Absolutely every single person has a million dollar idea. They have a business inside of them. We were put here for that. We weren't put here to be unhappy working for somebody else. We were put here to be in a place where we are creating our destiny and running our destiny. Now, there are a lot of other there are a lot of people that are very happy working for other places. There are a lot of nurses and teachers and um, uh, uh, assistants that are extremely happy doing what they're doing. And God bless you. And that is perfect. But for those of you who are not happy with your income, who are not happy with where you are and what you're doing, let me tell you, there are so many opportunities out there you don't even know. I saw one on, I shouldn't even say this. I saw one on TikTok the other day where you send your poop in and you can make $1,700 a month sending your poop in. I mean, there's only one place my poo is going. It's straight down the toilet. But I mean, hey, if you're that person and you don't care, $1,700 a month extra right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I recognize this area code, 414. How can I help you? Hi, how are you today? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I am Felicia. My name is Felicia today, and I'm calling from Tennessee. I'm sorry, where are you calling from? Tennessee, Tennessee. I got it. Okay. Felicia, yeah. how yeah. can I help you today? Well, I just want to read it. Uh, today's my birthday and just read the outlook of how everything's working thus far. Anything I need to know. 
Okay, Felicia, Thank that's you, not Felicia. Felicia, that's not how the show works. Um, I happy birthday, first of all. Happy birthday. You get one Thank question you. or one connection, and the question needs to be very exact because I have a call log full of people. So I try to give everybody one question. Okay. Okay. So. okay. The question is how do you see my career taking off this far? Okay. Okay, well, Felicia, happy birthday. Your grandma's here, first of all. <laughs> um, she, I hope this is your grandma. I heard grandma, and then I see a thinner woman. Yeah. And um, it, so hopefully this is your grandma. Uh, it might be your grandma, and then this thinner woman. It could be two women. I see some, hear some. See some, hear some, and sense some. So the woman that I see is thinner and she was a little older when she passed, like what we call a grandma age. And then I also hear grandma. So if this isn't your grandma, there's this woman. And then there is also your grandma here and they're to the right of me. So they're going to be coming in, giving you a message. Um, and they know they are aware you're asking about work and it's so far so good. What I hear is so far so good. Um, and what they're saying is, um, they're, they're saying keep, uh, your grandma may not have used this word, but that the, the uh, spirit speaks. If this is the first time watching, I want to apologize because I sing a lot on this show and nope, I cannot sing and I'm good with that. Um, there's, they're saying, <laughs> you know, they're saying hustle, 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 uh, get your hustle on. And then of course I hear the song every day I'm hustling. Um, so that is one thing that, they, yeah, uh, that is one thing they are bringing through so strong for you. And there are like five people coming through, but I'm just going to focus on your grandma because we will be here like until next week if I let them come through with everything. But I'm going to tell you the most important things. Um, uh, it, the one statement that they're making, I've come this far, but I'm not done. Just you won okay. that one. So that's the statement that they're, that's your key. They want you to write that down. I want you to re-listen to this show. I want everybody to freaking write that shit down and put it on your bathroom mirror. So every morning when you're brushing your teeth, you are saying that mantra. And I can't remember it right now because I channeled it, but write that down and put it on your mirror. And that is definitely, you are going, they're saying you're going places, you're going places. Don't give up. On your toughest day, think, this is my toughest day. I'm getting it out of the way, so tomorrow is going to be easier. Um, there, One thing they're saying is don't procrastinate. Mm -hmm. You might have a tendency to go into a place where you might procrastinate one or two things, whether it's in your home or your work. And then they're saying, again, just keep hustling. Like, don't sit down. Don't sit down, keep moving mm -hmm. and you're going to be fine. Your everything is going to come into place. They want you to know that over the next three to nine months, everything is going to incrementally or systematically or step by step go up, 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 up. I feel like whatever career that you just went into, there is the potential or whatever career you're in, I'm sorry, whatever career you're in, mm -hmm. there's the potential, like I'm hearing the sky's the limit and I'm asking about money. So I feel like there's the potential for you to really increase your income and have like a, a very high income. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If that's not with the specific company and or career you're in, Something's going to come in that's going to give you that unlimited potential in that unlimited income potential. And what this is, and I, 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 whatever it is, you don't need to like some people think if I do something on the side or I start my own business or I do this, I need to quit my job. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. It, does, it doesn't go down like that. It doesn't. You, the only thing you need to do is manage your time better. Okay. Just not, not you, but just have okay. time management again. Don't sit down, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Um, keep it hustling okay. is what they're saying for you. And they want you to know you're going to have a phenomenal year from, from today until the next year. 
you're going to, until next year at this point, you're going to have a phenomenal year. You're going to have a lot coming in that okay. is new, a lot of new coming in. You're not going to be, um, as long, okay, as long as you keep stepping forward, you will not repeat the steps of the past. Whew, okay. Yeah. That's what they have for you, sweetie. That's my plan. And they love you, 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 and they love you. They love you. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. You are so welcome. I'm so grateful you called in. Happy birthday again. I hope this is helpful. And they, they're just saying, like, again, just don't stop. Keep going. You're going to be amazed at where you are in a year. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 216. 216, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing, doing quite fine. This is Desmond calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, Desmond. How can I help you, you doing today? today? Sorry? Um, my question is, uh, no, I was just going to ask the question. Um, yeah. My question is, uh, do you see any um, spiritual gifts opening up for me? Uh this year, the new ones or enhancing? Yes. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. First and foremost, let's do a clearing. Let's, let's work on that for anybody. Um, how can I say this? Our spiritual gifts are opening. I get a yes. Or uh, there's all that is stopping or blocking our spiritual gifts from being what we want. Uh, all that's stopping or blocking our spiritual gifts from being more has cleared. I get a no. So let's clear that. And, uh, you know, that hits me in the heart and that makes sense to me because, um, everybody thinks it comes from the, the pineal gland or, you know, they want to work on their third eye, but I'm going to tell you the more in that space of love we are, um, the, the higher our frequency is and the more in connection we are. So if we're guarded with our heart, sometimes that can prohibit the gifts or the way the gifts work. I'm going to say for you, for you, listen to this, re-listen to this, um, clearing on spiritual gifts. I do feel like in a month you're going to have, again, it's a, an acceleration, like where you, you know, when you get, when you're driving on the street and you pull out of your parking spot, you go this fast, right? You don't, you don't gun it out of the parking spot, right? You slowly back out of your parking spot or pull slowly back or slowly enter into the street. But when we get on the freeway, we like are supposed to, for anybody listening, when you're getting on the freeway, you are supposed to be accelerating to the freeway speed. If you don't know that, now you do acclimate. <laughs> okay, people, acclimate. <laughs> Catch up with the program. <laughs> that little side lane, that's not for you to mosey on in. That's for you to get it going. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's not a personal note, folks. Just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry, Desmond. I'm so sorry. But uh, what's going to happen is after a month, it's going to be like you getting on the freeway, you're going to hit the fast lane and you're going to keep going with that. Now, do not let fear in. I'm going to tell you and everybody, you know, there's a really good side to having these gifts and it's that I can really help people. And when I come from that pure space, it's amazing. However, there is a side of this, like when I'm falling asleep at night and I'm relaxing, boy, some of the crazy, and when I say crazy, some people might think of them as scary things. I think of them as scary things that I see and that I'm woken up to is, it, it and it's, it's people who are, um, 
people who are like maybe uh, who have passed, who have who are not at peace, maybe let's put it that way, or some of the things they have gone through in their life that were not the best things. And they just start flooding my mind right there for whatever reason they're there. And people think, I never want to see that. Well, here's the deal. Um, here's the deal. It's not personally affecting you unless you let it right? You, you have to not be afraid of it. You can't be afraid of it. You have to know, okay, this is their, their life. You know, just like when you see a homeless person, you don't take that on and say, I'm going to be homeless now because I saw that it's going to affect me. It's like, okay, I, this is them. I'm going to work with this and I'm going to help them to uh, cross over or do clear this out of their energy so that they can be where they need to be. What I will say is as your gifts open, don't allow yourself to go into fear no matter what you see or where it is. Just understand that's, that stuff is there whether you see it or not. The beauty of seeing it is you know and you can navigate it. Okay, it's like a car coming out of nowhere or you seeing the car come out of someplace. Ooh, my ears are doing that ringing thing where they just went to a new pitch. So I know downloads are coming. I know I'm on the right track with you guys. I'm telling you some good <laughs> stuff here. Um, so one of the things you want to embrace, what you actually want to embrace, and this isn't the same for children because I work with a lot of children that are hella gifted. I mean, they are so gifted. Um, and I wouldn't tell them to try to manage the scary stuff they see. Well, that's a complete situation. But for anybody, child or adult, who sees something that is uncomfortable, first understand it like, okay, this isn't me, this isn't mine, and then call in angels and release it. But don't have that fear and don't hold that fear because that will limit your gifts, okay? So that's what I want to say about that. In a month, your gifts are going to take off. You are going to be in a whole new <clears throat> a, whole, a whole new bracket, I want to say, of, of gifts or strength, strength of this. But that doesn't mean you're going to be at your final destination. You're not going to be as far as you want to be, but you are going to be further and it's going to keep growing from there. One of the other things I'm going to say, and I'm so happy that you called in because I get, I just get to say this to people and I, I, do, I wouldn't say it unless somebody asks about it, is the gifts you have, acknowledge them as birthrights. We're all born with these abilities and so many more. It's not something that's coming from outside of us and being put in us. It's already in us. We're just being um, in a place where we're allowing it to expand because everybody has an intuitive moment we just have to keep building on those moments until we're having an intuitive life every single person is supposed to have an intuitive life we are all supposed to be prophets we are all supposed to be seers these are our birth given rights to navigate us through this life OK, we are all supposed to be able to get those messages of, about our life and where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to be doing. And if we do so, choose to help others. Um, <clears throat> so uh, it, many systems have made us fearful that it could be something else, that it what if it's something else? And the truth of the matter is, what if it's not? What if it's not something else? What if that's just fear poking its little head up at us saying, oh, here's an excuse not to be who you're supposed to be today, right? So uh, don't let fear get in the way. Own it and realize it comes from inside of you. So oh, Desmond, what I'm going to do, Hank, I'm, I'm going to thank you so much for calling in. Don't go anyplace because we're, we're, we're all going to do a little meditation, like a very quick meditation. Don't freak out and be like, I can't ohm right now. I'm going to teach you how to open your gifts right now and make them stronger without this clearing, but use the clearing. You just take a very slow, deep breath in. You can have your eyes open or close. And then you focus and ask that breath to go to the place that needs to be unblocked so you can see 
and know for yourself. And those are the only words you need to use. I need to see and know for myself. So let's go to the place that is blocked. And then when you breathe out, say, take that block with you. And then you just continue to do that. And you will be amazed every time it might go to a different place and remove a different block. Not only is this going to open your gifts, but it's going to remove a lot of blockages that you have in other parts of your life also. Okay, here we go. Going to the very next caller who is 571. 571, how are you today? Hello, thanks for taking my call. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I love that. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> my name is Victoria. I'm calling from Washington, D.C. Excellent. How can I help you, beautiful? Uh, well, my question is, I am working on a contract. However, I am looking for a full-time permanent opportunity as far as a career and I've been manifesting for sure um can you tell me what type of energy are you picking up around that okay you're gonna find something okay here's what I'm hearing now I'm gonna be very um I'm hearing you're gonna find something within a month okay within a month there will be something within three months it will be there so it, this could be one of two things Within a month, maybe this contract comes through and then in three months, you're working the contract. But I feel like it could also be in a month, you're going to find a permanent full time thing. And then in three within three months, you'll be working it. Now, I'm going to say be open to the one month timeline and the three month timeline because the one month okay. timeline is going to be. The one month timeline is where, okay, where something comes in, something brand new you don't know about comes in. Now, when I say comes in, that doesn't mean sit on your couch and start popping bonbons in your mouth, okay? <laughs> and for those of you who are young, yes, bonbons are a real thing. <laughs> um, what that basically yes, means, <laughs> yep, they are. <laughs> What that basically means is keep sending out. Now, maybe somebody is going to approach you and let you know about this. Do you feel like it's more likely you're going to find this online and it's going to be the perfect fit and it's, oh, okay, thank you. In a month, you're going to find something. It's going to be the perfect fit. It's going to be a full-time, all-in position. And let's clear anything stopping or blocking her from finding this. This is a timing thing. They're restructuring right now. And as they restructure, your position is going to open up. Now, the contract you're working on, keep working on it. Just because I'm saying this, don't oh, throw I that will. contract in I the will. garbage. No, I will. No, no. Because no, I will. timelines I can. Pay my bills, so yep. I will. And timelines can be off a little bit. OK, so we want to be in that place where we are steady working towards always having something. And then you're going to be at this full time position that you're going to get within the three month mark. And I feel like it's it's going to be perfect. It's going to be everything you're looking for. OK, beautiful. But keep looking, keep looking online. I feel like when you find this thing online, you are going to have a feeling in your gut that feels a little bit like fear and feels a little bit like excitement jump on it it's going to be amazing so okay it's nothing, so it's nothing that i send out because i've been sending out my no it's, a, it's it's coming so, in in a month and you don't know about this position yet okay awesome, okay sweetie awesome. well thank you so much and i will definitely follow up for a you know private read i know we can do a whole lot so thank you thank you thanks for taking my call absolutely absolutely i love it thank you so much for calling in and joining me i am so grateful for that thank you thank you okay everybody today is a 30 minute show because i'm booked back to back with private clients today i want to thank everybody for ca calling in showing up watching rewatching. i love each and every one of you and Thank you.